Hello everybody, welcome to Carrots Gaming. I'm your host, Step back at it again with some more Empire. We're playing the amazing mod, Awakening of the Rebellion. No sub mod this time. Funny enough. No sub mod. What? Okay, I'm not gonna question that, I guess. As to why that's a thing I have, but okay. Um, I'll look at that later. Um, so, there's a reason we're not continuing our CSA campaign. And that's because I've been playing it a lot, just on my own, just to see kind of what the scope of it is. And I gotta say, once you pretty much conquer this area, like the Moncala sector, it gets really boring. <laughs> and that's no slight against the way the developer, it's still in very early mod, I think it's only its second release. But I think the main culprit of that is the tech system. Just because I was able to build Taggle Battlecruisers, Manstar Battlecruisers, and basically have ships that no other, you, none of, even the Empire can contend with, because they don't have command ships when they start off. And since we had no tech limit, I could just build command ships right off the bat. Because there was no reason not to. And the no tech limit made it extremely hard to continue wanting to play it for the simple reason that once you get past a certain point and you have enough money that you just can buy stuff regularly it no longer becomes interesting the thing i like about the main game is there's so much tech and i get that the tech can't be this way even if this the developer like makes tech it's going to be global tech but even that's going to make it significantly better because having a taggy battle cruiser right off the bat, like that was the first cap, I think the first ship I built was the battle cruiser just cause I could. It made it not fun. And I get, I kind of did that to myself. I could have like restrained myself, but where's the fun in restraining yourself? The whole point of was when you get the big bad battle cruisers, everybody else also has command ships. So there's always, unless you like tech up super early, which is, pretty much impossible to tech up to a battle cruiser early game and be able to build one. I like the Empire being the strongest unit until we can tech up. And that just wasn't the case and it got kind of boring. I hate to say boring because it was fun, but from a content standpoint, there wasn't a whole lot to comment on. <laughs> like I recorded videos, I just never released them because on edit it was just like there wasn't a whole lot for me to talk about, and I kept reiterating some of the same stuff because there was no, like, big hype, like, oh, I can't wait to get the next tech level so I can get this ship. It was like, oh, this is a cool ship, let me build it. And I get that is kind of my fault, but still. I am going to be continuing my CSA campaign. I'm just going to give it a break until the next... Because I know tech and missions is being currently worked on, and I think that will turn the mod around completely. Like, I'm going to continue my campaign once that happens. I might have to restart my campaign, actually, but I will definitely be returning to the CSA fairly soon. Or whenever the... I don't actually know when it gets released. So where, up until then, we're going to be starting a Rebel campaign. Just because there seems to be a lot of stuff I missed. <laughs> like, for starters, what the hell is this? Why do I have it? Can I build it anywhere? <laughs> Hello? Can I build, do I have any? Okay, I guess I just don't have tank. Yeah, I have tank. What are you? Why are you this tank? I have never seen this before. <laughs> this is a completely new tank that I have never seen. Line tank, senior fleets. Ultra lines, all vehicle for short or like combo speed as well for the Clone Wars are hardly available. Modular will make some popular transfer from the lines as well as various independent forces. Although they last, they'll always be able to spread the weapon. weaponry. And C. I don't know what that is, because I've never played with that before. <laughs> like, that's con genuinely confusing me. Am I just an idiot, or is that new? That that has to be new. Shift that over to here. I mean, I've been playing a lot of Remake, and I was like, oh, this is where I build my tech, and then I just remembered. Because this is the same model for the tech. At least in space it is. New. Okay. First of all, Hoth. Something I always do right off the bat, sell this, sell that. Why no sound? Hello? Hello? Sa sound? Sa sound? I had sound, I had sound working. 
I fixed the sound and it was working properly. Hello? Do we do we have sound? We we should. Audio. Why are you all the way turned down? That seems like a you problem, except. I don't know why that was turned all the way down. I just had it turned all the way up. That's weird. Anyway, we have 50,000 credits. We have 54,000 credits. Let's immediately not... What did I just do? <laughs> that is not what I wanted to do. Get you here. Get you here. You stay down here. Pull this. Pull this. Pull this. And move you to Bespin. Move you to Bespin. Move you to Bespin. And you... Move to here. Give us a good idea of what they have here. I'm gonna want to immediately get the sector secure. Get in the space. Get in space. You stay on the ground, honestly. I feel like Jedi on the ground is better than Jedi in the air. Because <laughs> in the end, you're still just one fighter unit. Um, move up. Also, take that planet immediately. We now immediately get Lando Calrissian. Get up in the air. He's a really good character to have in the air. Actually, to have first to come out of space. Because he has a gunship, but he can also call in a random ship of any kind. Um. Okay, what do we have here now? Uh. Light garrison. Okay, so maybe not this as our first attack. We'll use that as a brace against the Empire, because I think don't they just have access to this planet? No. But we'll, oh yeah, they do, right here. We open up our front lines to the Empire right away, which I do not think we are ready for. Also, did I just immediately move you over to here? Like, are you just going to immediately attack? Because that was a mistake. Oh, no, I'm just done. Move out to here. Also, space stuff and things. Get you, bye, Pat. Um... Let us get Solus Van. Underway. Gear up an attack squadron here. Attack force. Moving into position. We're heading move out. out, move out, move heading out. Pause immediately. Where are you? You're here. Over Commoner. Hmm. <laughs> Boom. Is that worth it, is the question of the day. No. I don't think it is, because I know they have a Star Destroyer. Actually, you know what? If we can dig into this, like, really early, we might be able to hold it if we pour in a lot of resources to it. Also, you are... You get a Juggernaut on the ground, don't you? Yeah, you get a modified... You get a, some sort of, yeah, Warhammer Jugger, Warhammer Juggernaut. Also, I don't need you. Move here, please, and start stealing credits from, uh, I don't know, Coruscant. Or no. Start stealing credits from there. Um, move out. Move out. Move out. Ooh, we have a capital ship here. Move out. Um... Good old Camino Sector. Hmm. These guys are good. Let's build just one. Or let's get two off ground. And we'll leave Shaq there. Good old Commander Shaq. I love that they add like some of the really popular content creators for it as units. Or at least letting them voice units. I think Shaq's the only one who gets his face on unit though. I might be wrong on that though. Let me know if I am. Move out. Move out. Hey, can we steal from... Say, Tatooine? And... Move out. Move out. Not really doing a whole lot there, so move out as well. I do want you to actually move to here, just because. Alright. You have Insector. There's a lot of forces to move around. <laughs> Pretty much all early game is, is moving your forces around. <laughs> Funny enough. 
Move to here, move to here. Yoink all of that. Okay. Move to here, move to here. Very good, very good. Alright. Yeah, then. Move to here because this is where our, our defensive position is going to have to be. Right over at Polis, sadly. Even though it's not a really well defended planet, it still is going to have to be our best because that is our front line, at least in this sector. Did I stutter? Move. Thank Roger. you. Um. Fly Marith. That seems to be our main. Uh, yeah, that is our main area right now. So let's move out. Move out. Move out. Right move out. Also, I just realized. He's not over here. John Dodon is not over here. Is it John? Is Jan Dodon. Not John Dodon. <laughs> Move out, move out. You don't have a capital ship air production? That's a flaw and a half. You're Mon Cal, I get that immediately. Also, Lothal. Not gonna do that. I was about to build tech here. That's a stupid idea. Hoth would be the better place for that, because it's super defended. Tech, tech. What do we need? This would give us U Wing Marauders, G95. Not really that important right now. We already hold bulk cruiser twin blade frigates. That's good. C80 Freedom. I think this is more effective right now. Uh, Solace Van. You can build this. Build one of these. Thank you. Mustafar. Build this. Thank you. We're gonna need definitely at least three Dreadnoughts in this fight. I try to keep a three Dreadnought. Fleet. Always in each fleet. I know it's kind of hard to maintain sometimes. But dreadnoughts are just good ships in general. <laughs> okay. Everybody's moving around. Let's focus on the core. Chandrilla, you're useless to us. You're just waiting to get invaded. Retreat immediately. You are useless to us here. Especially with such heavy damn defenses. That's really expensive for us to do because of them not being a military world. Sell everything. You are completely used to us. Us useless to us. That gives us 15. What do we have here? What exactly are you good at? You are a hangar defense. So that gives us things about anti fighter orbital defense, outpost station. To handle assaulting, light assaulting things with my armor's weapons can stop incoming ships. What about you? Group of defense, uh, large rod, long arms, you can have heavy weapon and can endure a lot of damage with powerful shields. See, that's useful. Also, that ain't a bad fleet. This ain't a bad fleet lineup. I mean, yeah, it is. We don't really have proper fighters, but still, that ain't bad. That can definitely hold its own. Maybe attack man. I don't know. Possibly. Also, Kashyyyk. Did I move for myself Kashyyyk? Yes, I did. Move that, move that. Over to here. Kashyyyk. That's not what I did. I said Kashyyyk. Thank you. Oh yeah, we already have Wookiees. Good. Good, good, good. The Wookiees are good. Alright. Now we need to think... The wheel, maybe? No, that's too much. Nobody has tech. Nobody has tech. The wheel would be vulnerable. The wheel is vulnerable. That would be nice to get. <sighs> Let's figure out our forces here. Here, Also, Lothal. You are fighter production now. We're gonna use you for what your cannon <laughs> use is. Also, we're down to 8,000. We need to start saving credits. Oh, Bespin! I'm dumb. Bestman, hello, are you almost done? Not quite. <laughs> Setting up shop. Setting up shop, okay. Hmm. We need to add quickly on the wheel, because they have a tier 2, and if they get any sort of tech, it will become unwinnable. But Black Sun early tech is weak. Their main, their best capital ship is a Venator, which is not, un, like, it's not, it's not bad. Venators are good, but against, say, an MC-80, or anything, an MC-80 of any sort, it's just not a competition. But here's where our problem lies. Our fighters suck. 
And they're gonna, if they do actually have a Venator, it's gonna be a lot better. That only adds a couple more fighters, so we need to immediately focus on fighters that can fight with them. So let's pour credits into that. We need to save at least, I believe, 5,000 to be able to build this. 5,000 exactly. Immediately build that. Thank you very much. Uh, you. Why are you here? Why are you like this? Shift, please. Thank you. Hey, Sulzvan, how's that capital ship coming? Slowly. <laughs> very, very slowly. As a mean station? Don't mind if I yes. And then maybe one of these. Uh, let's not. Oh no, we already built our thing. No, we didn't. And, Yavin. There you go. I almost didn't build my. to have been gas refiner over here. That would have been dumb. Yoink that. Also, Yevon, do you really need turbo laser defenses? If they're that close to Yavin where the turbo lasers are actually going to be effective, actually, never mind, that actually wouldn't be far. You definitely need to get a tier 2 just in case. I would say sell this, keep this just in case. For right now, we're in desperate need of that money and we do not need the upkeep. Also, maybe move Terdaria's Defense Force and you just in case. What is our mission? Our first mission? Take stealth unit to a planet. Man. I have a stealth unit. Ooh. Umbra. Wait, we have more than one mission? Take a stealth- Oh, from Manan to- Okay. Now here's the question. You are not considered a stealth unit. That answers that question. Do I have a stealth unit in the area? Would be my next question. I don't know. Are you considered a stealth unit? You are not. That is unfortunate. Now the next course of question is, do I have a stealth unit I can spare? Where is our closest stealth unit? This is a kind of useless planet to us, isn't it? This doesn't do a whole lot for us. Let's sell this stuff while we think. Because this does... We'll keep that there in this, because doesn't this give us... Equal income, yeah, it gives us planetary income. We'll sell the rest, though. We'll keep the income generators, just so they can generate us as much income as we possibly can. Do you have any stealth units? You do not. Is our closest stealth unit way over here? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like maybe you can actually get there quicker because of the hyperspace lanes. You might actually be able to get there in time. I don't know, what's, uh, what's our week limit for this? We have seven weeks to do this. Let's go for it. Hey. Uh, miss Han Solo, I got, a, I got a mission and a half for you. Go escort these refugees. Go do, go do some hero stuff. Get over to here and uh, escort some refugees. How's this going? Still relatively weak. Let's shift this over. How are you doing now? Still relatively weak. So basically, the second they start building tech, which we'll be able to see, I will immediately launch an invasion against the wheel, just to stop them before they do. But until then, I must now consider if I can take this fleet. And I think the answer to that question is a resounding yes. It'll be a close fight. But in the end, I think we will be able to outnumber them. Question mark. Now, let's have a unit come out first. I don't want to... Okay, we do. Move over to here. That way you're not confused. Also, you're the orbital... Yeah, you're the gunship dude. Ooh, that was a good idea to send Han Solo. Yeah, we'll be able to do this mission, no problem. These hyperspace lanes work excellent. Where are you again? You're on the ground here. Okay, you keep doing you. Let's locate all of our heroes. Never mind, I know where all of our heroes are. <laughs> there, it turns out that wasn't such a mystery as I thought it previously was. Okay. Ooh, almost done. We now have five, so we have about a full wing. I consider five to be a wing, by the way, in my head cannon, because that's how many you can build here, and I think of that as you're building a wing of fighters. 
All right, first battle of the campaign. Let's get this thing started. All right. What ship will you be bringing out for us to play? Let's immediately bring out you and call in a favor. Oh, that's a sucky ship to bring out. You're not even the repair. Oh, you are the repair unit. Sometimes you won't even bring out the repair version, and that's just sad sometimes. All right, bring out these two. Honestly, these two ain't bad picket ships. I believe your complement is one light TL. Actually, it's kind of sucky. You only have one turbo laser, don't you? In cannon, have like 12? <laughs> At least replace them with laser cannons, jeez. Don't automatically do that. And you two had the right idea. Move up, give us early warning. I don't care about losing you. I don't pay for you. Please keep up with them. I don't need you to be three steps. I need you to work, move as a fleet this way. Don't move too far ahead, Miss, Mr. Uh, don't forget I'm don't know the lady. No, it's not saying me. Lando. How did I, the hell did I forget Lando? I don't know why he's called Lady Luck. Alright. Give us a lucky loo. Not actually here. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Get up here and immediately start getting down a basis for our fleet. Okay, thank god I was so concerned that, that was gonna break. Alright. Immediately. Fighters, fighters, you, you. Let's get a couple of these guys in. Fighters, fighters, even more fighters, a couple more fighters, and you to join up with that. And then the rest of you get up as quickly as you physically can. We're going to immediately, once we capture that, because this guy is a dangerous ship. Because he's got some turbos on him. Our goal is to immediately defeat the fighters, then switch our fighter bombers to attack them. So you, you can serve fire bombers, so are you. Group one, immediately attack this. And I want group two to start working on engines. Keep them out of range if you can. And it would seem they're actually going to get a visit from a cloak stripe or cloak cloak shape cloak shape. And these guys, are you actually in? I want to make sure. Yeah, okay, you're in range of this because I'm going to want you to actually move up. I'm going to want you to take the brunt of this ever just coming. Hey, how you guys doing? You almost here? Get up here, desperately, quickly, please. In case they start launching stupid stuff like that. Oh God. Who did that? Who launched that? Who legitimately, who launched that? I'm assuming a fighter because they're dead now. And kadoosh, kadoosh, kadoosh. And engines are almost gone. Already just, that, that took it out of us. And come on, take out the engines. You ain't that special. What are you guys even fighting? And a doink. All right, now just start taking out stuff on this ship. Group one. Oh, you're still fighting that. Engage. I want to see this from your guys' perspective. Give us a good old go into strike mode. That way we can kind of defeat these guys pretty easily. Why am I not? I'm not taking any cool screenshots. I want to take some cool screenshots. There we go. Alright, I'm no longer concerned. They almost took the shields out of one of these, but after that, I'm no longer concerned. Because bombers can tear this guy a new one. I don't know how it looks like from you guys' perspective. Oh, I didn't know the, the cannon, the turret rotated. That's actually really cool.
I think fighters have way better looking maneuverability in Awakening of the Rebellion than they do in Remake. That's just my personal opinion, but they move right. When actually dog fighting, it actually looks like they're dog fighting, not just flying around each other. The laser shooting in every direction. Make that less effective. Also, we got money for that. That's good. We got 113 credits for that. Hell yeah. Era 3. I don't even know what that means. Is that just weak? Yeah, that's just weak. Okay. We did not lose anything from that. Thank God. <laughs> Uh-oh. That was the sound of my headphones dying. That's fun. Wait. What is happening? This is weird. My headphones decided they no longer wished to do headphone stuff. They are on. And it's working again. That was weird. <laughs> okay. What does your ground forces look like? You have strike fighters. Interesting. Okay. Sounds working now. <laughs> But why is it not picking it up? Hello? Hello? There we go. Now it's picking it up. Cool. Uh. Z95 here. Over. Z95 here. Over. That's really loud. <laughs> but okay. Hopefully it's not as loud on the recording. Uh, I'm doing. He hello? Black? There we go. Oh, wait. Z95 is completed. Get over to here. Huh. We need to think now. No, we don't actually. This fleet can't take this. I don't even need to look. We have 5,000. Oh, never mind. Don't build it there. That would be dumb. Build it here. Thank you. Ankle. Alright. I think I'm gonna call that one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!